Hello. Today I just want to talk quickly about these two books right here. So this is a Foxy Fix Micro TN that I have had now for quite a little bit. And I just haven't been able to find something to fit in it without having to cut it down and trim it. I had some like um, Traveler's Company notebooks, but those were too big. I was going to have to cut them and I just never got around to it. So yesterday I went to Walmart because I'm trying to use more books that are within a reasonable budget. So I did the Dollar Tree um, weekly planner and the monthly. And then I went to Walmart because I was going to look for the pen and gear. But my Walmart did not have any in stock. However, they did have the pen and gear mini composition books. So let me see. Yeah, so I still have this. So this is what they look like. Pen and gear mini composition books. They're 3.25 by four and a half. And there's 240 sheets total because it's 80 sheets a book and you get three of them. And they are aligned. So that's what is in here. I will walk you through what I did with that today. And then I have my VDS Vanderspeck pocket that I had taken the rings out of. So I have the back plate in there still. So it still has a little bit of a stiffer spine. But then I have a five star pocket size notebook in there. So when I couldn't find the pen and gear, but I saw the five star, I was like, okay, I, I'm going to, I was hoping that this would work in here because I know that this had like 25 millimeter ring. So I said it should fit. And I hope that it does because I've always been a five star notebook fan. So over here, I just have an older picture of my son and myself over where the back plate is. I just put some washi so I can slide the rings back in if I want to, but I like using this as like just a cover, a pocket size cover. Now what I did with this, I have a bunch of stickers that I got from Timu and like I get them in packages and then I separate the packages what they are. I used to be a representative for Sensi, so I have like some of the bags, but then I have other ones. I mean, I have a lot of different stickers. So I brought some of the stickers with me to work today and I was playing in both of these books to kind of jazz them up a little bit. So for this book right here, I paid $2.20. Now, normally when I buy pocket size planner, like planner books, I'm paying like $25, $30 for the ones that I buy. There's no need. So what I said was I have enough books that I am using. You can watch all my other videos. Um, I won't give a rundown on here, but I said with all the other books that I use as planners, do I really need to create like another daily planner? No. So what I did was I'm just going to kind of use this for daily kind of like a note, just a daily notebook, um, you know, just to write down notes, reminders, to do's, things like that. And these pages are so cheap that if I need to rip it out, I can just do that. So I put some stickers in here, did like an opening page, just in case I have something private. I don't want that to be the opening page. So I just started making some lists, things that I need to do, incoming things that I have coming in to my home. So I can check off some of these because they did come today. So that's in purple. So I'll just take a black pen. The gaming mouse came, the litter genie bags came. I have a cat. You might start to hear him meow momentarily because that noise, that scraping, that's him trying to get out of my room. But if I let him out because I'm in here, he will start <laughs> scratching at the door and meowing very loudly and smacking the doorknob to come back in. So I just leave him there. So I still have two leather bags that I got on Mercari coming in and appointments, any appointments that we have. Um, obviously, because I share videos, I will not post locations, but I know where our dentist is. So he's going Monday. These, this is a list of just self-care things that I need to do. I need to go get my hair colored. I want to go for a pedicure. And so my, me and my sister were trying to make a day of it and kind of just organize everything together. So we want to get massages, color our hair. So well, I'm coloring my hair and then go for pedicures. So, I mean, obviously this is just college ruled notebook paper. So it is very thin. You're not going to get like a thick 
piece of paper out of it. But I mean, if I wanted to, I could take some stickers and I can do a daily page if I wanted to use it up, just pen to paper, highlighters, you know, just carry it with me because it is a pocket size. So there is that one. Um, I can show the back of this book. I didn't jazz it up, but that's what that looks like. It just, it's 200 ruled pages, five and a half by three and a half. And that's it. So $2.20. So we've got bougie and budget. So like me, I bought this cover a couple of years, like about a year ago. So why not use them if they're just sitting in the draw? Use it with cheap things, you know, to maintain it. I'd rather spend a little bit more on a cover knowing that I can keep buying cheap notebooks to put in it and fill it up. So I'm going to set that one aside. And then this little micro one, this is a Foxy Fix. Now this I got in a trade with three Foxy Fix covers. So I have an A6 that looks similar to this one, this size, and then I had a personal TN. That one I traded with somebody else for some other things. So I was like, I really want to use this. So when I was at Walmart looking in the little notebook section, I did see the little mini composition books. And I was like, you know what? That really would be perfect just to throw in my purse. And I do have dust bags. Like that is a Moterm dust bag. It's not BDS, but it fits in here. So I have other ones that I can put this in and just toss it into my bag. So this, all I did was I added some stickers to the insides of every one, the inside back cover, the back cover, and I'm going to section out the notebooks. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to use them for. But this one I have not written anything in yet. This one I started writing a couple of things on parenting. I started that, but I'll finish. This one I was just doing some thoughts, some reflections, talking about blessings, um, changes, challenges. So I'll give everything like a title up at the top, but then I'll just write about it in here. So that's kind of like personal reflection. This will be parenting. And then I have this whole other one for something else. So I always have a bunch of colorful pens, a bunch of stuff that I can use to put in the planner, stickers, highlighters, um, pens, markers, whatever kind of pen you want to use. Just have an assortment, cheap pens. I mean, some of these are not so cheap, but some of them are. But you know what I mean? Just make it your own all the time. That is my best advice to everybody is make it your own. Use up all your things. But I want to thank you so much for watching and I might film another video in a few minutes. So, but thank you for watching this one and stay tuned for more. Thank you.